good morning in this session you are going to know about the clustering using weka previously discussed about the all these concepts uh, classification pre processing and so on and then clustering what is a exact clustering clustering is a unsupervised learning here unsupervised learning in the sense no free defined classes for the classification pre defined classes are there here no pre defined classes and then here group the similar object that are from the other object that means this particular clustering used to grouping the object here process of grouping a is a term physical object into classes of similar object is called here cluster the process of organizing the objects into groups that process is called as a cluster here in this case there is a cluster property intra class distances and then inter class distances inter class distances in the sense within a cluster the distances between the object and then outside the cluster inter class distances in the sense outside the cluster the object distances here inner class distances are minimized within a cluster you have to minimize the distances and then inter class distances are maximized here one cluster to another cluster object distances you have to maximize the distances that means similar objects in a one cluster one type of objects similar objects in the sense for example all faculty in a one particular cluster if you come to students students in a one particular cluster that's called here similar objects here cluster is a collection of data objects here similar to one other another with a same cluster dissimilar to object in a other cluster in the particular same cluster objects are similar particular other cluster objects are dissimilar here that is implementing implement the k means clustering technique for the german data set but means our task by using weka you have to you are going to implementing the k means clustering here what is a k means clustering here first you have to know about the what is a k means clustering the it is a partitioning clustering here this particular cluster based on a centroid centroid based clustering technique here this unsupervised learning no predefined classes are there that means you have to identify the similarity between a different objects how can you identify the similarity between a different object here from the distances by identifying the distance distance of i comma j equal to root of x i1 minus x j1 whole square plus x i2 minus x j2 whole square and so on x i p minus x j p whole square this is called here a similarity here how can you represent the k the initial number of clusters here the k in the sense how can you identify the k value there is a some method is there elbow elbow method used to identify the k value that means how many clusters were selecting elbow method that means previously discussed that elbow method here the k means algorithm calculate the arithmetic mean of each cluster formed in a data set that's why it is called here k means algorithm here the algorithm look like this one the k means algorithm implemented in a four steps what are the four steps here first partition the objects into k non empty subsets here that means you have a thousand objects are there for example german data set consists of thousand object those thousand objects divided into for example k equal to 2 2 uh, groups for example k equal to 3 the thousand object divided into three groups and then k equal to 4 based on the k value k value how can you identify the k value elbow is a one method for identifying the k value mm -hmm. Uh, that is a thing and then compute the seed point as a centroid of the cluster of the current portion that means first you have to identify the centroid of the cluster the centroid is a center the mean point of the cluster that means the centroid you call it as a mean value the identify the mean value of the cluster assign each object to the cluster with the nearest to 
nearest to center point or nearest to mean value the seed point equal to the centroid nearest to centroid points are assigned as a one cluster and then go to step 2 stop when no more no more new assignments are there that means in this way you will performing the clustering here in order to implementing clustering by a vecker tool you have a this number of step here what are the number of steps first step here first i did go to vecker tool and then go to cluster tab and then selecting the choose button there you have a, some attend information is there here come to the this one i am going to the vecker tool this is a vecker tool you have a applications are there in the under the application i am going to click in the explorer click on explorer if you click on explore if you click on explorer the explorer appear like this the first step what is the first step here the first step here is a open the vecker tool and then select the data set and then for the clustering you have to selecting the data set here open the data set what is the data set you are using german data set here i am going to download um, that means you have i am selecting the data set set my from the my local system here data set under the data set you have a german data set is there click on german data set this particular german data set consists of 21 attribute here this is a uh, the um, uh, uh, loading the data set process completed this is a loading the data set process completed now what is the second step it comes to the second step here what is the second step here in the second step choose option is there where the list of different algorithms are available and then from that list you have to apply the simple k means algorithm from the k means algorithm now under the cluster mode select the that means go to the cluster mode option select the classes to cluster okay complete the step 2 complete the step 2 how can you complete the step 2 if not to completing the step 2 choose button under the two, that means before that you have to go to the cluster i am going to the cluster under the cluster you have to go to the choose button choose button there is a vecca is there under the vecca there is a clusters are there here we have a different clusters under the cluster select the simple mean this is a second step simple k means algorithm next step coming to the next step here now under the cluster mode select the class to clusters evolution and check the store cluster for evolution option you have to do these two options what are the options here under the cluster mode i am coming to the cluster mode under the cluster mode which, which type of option you are selecting classes to cluster evolution that means the number of classes none classes cluster evolution and then store check the store evolution click here i am checking this one here i am selecting the simple k means algorithm how many number of cluster i am taking see here i am initially if you comes to this window yeah if you comes to this window i am selecting the number of clusters equal to 2 see this one the number of clusters in this case here is a 2 the number of clusters here is a 2 and then maximum execution slot some information and then this is a some kind of information about the clustering that means number of cluster i am taking the two clusters here two cluster and then coming to the next important step and then start click on the resulting windows appears like this this is a 
resulting window this is a resulting window appears like this here i am selecting the only two cluster coming to the next important step what is the next step the to generate a cluster click on start first click on start here if you start to click on start what what happened see here click on start here you will identify the different cluster related information what is the related information number of rows instances of uh, thousand instances are there for the german data set and then attributes are 21 attributes these are all 21 attributes and then test mode class to cluster evaluation uh, on the training data and then k means algorithm the number of iterations five iterations you completed here you have a two clusters cluster 0 and cluster 1 see here the result cluster 0 appears the number of result here this one for the checking what are the information you needed and then cluster 1 the cluster 1 takes the 643 rows cluster 0 cluster 0 takes the 6 43 rows and then uh, the rows you call it as instances cluster 1 takes the 357 instances that is a clustering information under this information the cluster instances are like this so the cluster 0 64% <laughs> and cluster 1 this percentage this is a that means you if you want to the next step okay come to the next step here right click on the result list and select the visualize cluster assignment here what is the visualize assignment here to view the distribution of data into two cluster how can you distribute the data into two cluster one for the good and then other for the bad here the distribution how can you perform the distribution for this cluster and then you have a accuracy from this accuracy 66.1% is there the sixth step yeah coming to this one right click on this one the result list right click on result list visualize the cluster assignment if you visualize the cluster assignment for each and every cluster how can you represent this is a cluster 1 this is a cluster 2 the attribute assignments are done like this these are all two different cluster here this is a for the two different cluster if i want to select in the elbow consists of three clusters for example k, k value i am selecting the k value as a 3 previously i am selecting the k value 2 for this one k value as a 3 3 clusters i am taking how can you represent the this particular three clusters see here here i am taking the k value as a 3 for the k value 3 how can you selecting the cluster here for example i am selecting the k value 3 start evaluation here the number of cluster instances are 3 see here what are the three instances here cluster 0 cluster 1 cluster 2 here particular instance value 40 from the cluster 0 previously cluster 0 having the 7 7 um, that means 70 percentage of cluster 48.4 percentage cluster 1 cluster 2 that means three clusters are dividing like this based on a similarity here cluster 0 good cluster 1 for the no classes cluster 2 for the bad good or bad that means uh, If this particular person paying the information good or the bad here visualize the this one visualize the cluster assignment here this is a for the three clusters the assignment uh, appears like this these are all this cluster assignment uh, for example i am taking the four different clusters uh, for example i am taking four different clusters for four different clusters how can you represent the value start this one if you start here four clusters are appears like this these are all four 
different cluster cluster 0 cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 here this particular cluster values are here for the cluster 0 bad cluster 2 no class assignment is there cluster 3 that means you are performing the four different clusters in this way in this way you will perform in the two three that means how can you assign the k value elbow method is there we will discuss later about that particular elbow method okay thank you